journey to the organized home. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three tips and tricks that totally changed my shower cleaning game and how you can change yours too. Now these shower cleaning tips literally changed my life. And I know that sounds like a complete over exaggeration, but if you hate cleaning nearly as much as I do, this is not an understatement. So tip number one is to use a dishwasher scrubbing brush to quickly give your shower a clean when you're having a shower once every two to three days. So you're just gonna have to pretend that I'm in the shower right now. But what I would normally do once every two to three days when I'm in the shower, I'll have conditioner in my hair and I'll actually turn the shower off and I'll just give the whole thing a quick scrub. So a quick scrub at the top, but I really focus most of my energy on cleaning from the bottom half of the glass down. Obviously the tiles and everything as well, but this is where most of the soap scum seems to build up. So really I tend to focus on the bottom half and just give the top half a quick scrub. If you keep on top of this, it'll just keep your shower looking really nice and clean with a minimal amount of effort. Every now and then I'll take all of the bottles and everything down and give the little soap holder a quick scrub as well. And when I finish cleaning all of the glass and the tiles, I get a cloth and just wipe everything down because I don't have a detachable shower head. If you have one of those, that's great. It's super easy. You can just go around and spray everything down. I actually use this special microfiber cloth from Ikea. It's not actually special. I just think it's special. So you can get it in a three pack, but only one of the cloths actually has these little scrubby strips on it. And I just like to use this cloth when I'm washing everything away, just for that little bit of extra grit to just kind of help get rid of that last little bit of soap scum. Now I just use normal dishwashing liquid for the inside of the dishwashing scrubber head thingy. I actually do buy a specific one for the bathroom though, just one that's a little bit more fruity or a little bit more floral rather than the regular lemon, just cause it's a little bit nicer for the bathroom and just to have a slightly different smell in the bathroom than you do in the kitchen. I also got these extra heavy duty scrubber heads for the actual brush itself just because shower and soap scum can be pretty tough and I just figure Harder is better, even though it's on glass, it's all totally fine. But I just figure if you can use a stronger one, why wouldn't you? So I've just bought these extra heavy duty ones and those are the ones that I use on the scrubbing brush in the shower. Now my favorite scrubbing brush to use is this Dishmatic one, but it's one of those ones that actually stands up on its end. So you can easily just keep this in the corner of your shower or if you don't like the look of it being in your shower, you can just easily stand this up in your cupboard. And this one is special, like no leak, so it doesn't continue to like leak and leak once you've shut it off. So I really love this scrubbing brush over just the normal Dishmatic one. Now with this little cleaning tip, the key for this really is to keep it regular. So if you just do it once every two to three days, you really don't have to do a very hard scrub at all. So this is one of those things where doing a little bit more often will definitely save you so much in the long run. Tip number two is to use a water repellent on the inside of your shower to keep your shower cleaner for longer. Now I have heard that you can actually just use like a regular wax sealant, but I have used the Rain-X two-in-one glass cleaner and water repellent because I know this works on windows. I've tried it before with the regular Rain-X on my windscreen and I know it does a great job. So using the Rain-X, this is a two-in-one cleaner. So I don't actually have to clean my shower before I put this on because I do the regular cleaning with the scrubber. So all I do is I just spray the Rain-X on the inside and then you just wipe it off with the microfiber cloth. Any glass cleaner or microfiber cloth will do. You only have to do this once every two or three weeks. We have really hard water, so water marks really show up on the shower screens. So this is a super good hack to stop those shower screens looking so scummy all of the time, even if they're not really that dirty. This hack is super easy and it makes such a big difference. It really is one that takes very little effort and you really see a big payoff. So the final tip, tip number three, is to use a squeegee in your shower after you've had a shower. So especially using the Rain-X in conjunction with the squeegee, it'll really help get all of those water droplets off so that your glass will stay super clean and super clear. So I might be a little bit late to the party on the whole squeegee thing, but you know, I got there in the end, that's the main thing. But I found that doing this totally keeps your shower looking, you guessed it, cleaner for longer, and with the Rain-X, it really, really does make a huge difference in keeping that shower maintained and keeping it looking clean every single day. Now, one thing about the squeegee, which I do absolutely hate, is how freaking ugly it is sitting inside my shower. I just have it like sitting on the ground. I'm thinking about getting some sort of like a bougie squeegee so that it's like not such an eyesore. 
If you have any recommendations for a nice bougie squeegee I can put in my shower, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your suggestions. Links to all of the products that I've used will be in the description box below so you can see exactly how much everything costs and where I got it all from. With these three super easy shower cleaning hacks, my shower looks clean basically all of the time, yet it takes me almost no effort to keep it looking like that. I really hope these hacks make your life just that little bit easier so you can spend less time cleaning and more time doing literally anything else. If you got something out of this video, please consider giving me a like. It really helps me know what sort of content you guys enjoy. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. But honestly, no pressure. I get it. You do what you want. Ain't no one here going to tell you what to do. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!